Okay, here's a simple lesson on evolution. The theory of evolution basically teaches that every living creature like you and me evolved from a single cell billions of years ago. So that means that every animal supposedly transformed into another kind of animal over time. Now, the big problem evolutionists have is that they're finding a huge gap in the fossil record. In other words, when archaeologists dig up the bones of these dead animals, they don't find these transitional forms that help one animal transform into another animal. And if you don't have those bones, you can't prove evolution ever happened. That's what they're calling the missing link. And there's not just one. There would have to be thousands and thousands of those transitional forms. The truth is, they're not missing at all. They never existed in the first place. Now, maybe you're asking, what about the proof? I mean, what about those science teachers that showed us those drawings of apes all hunched over and then eventually straightening themselves up and becoming very man-like? Well, remember, those are just drawings. That's not proof. The real proof is in what we can find in the fossil record, the bones that we dig up. And that's what's missing, the actual proof. In reality, this is what scientists actually have. Me and the monkey, apes and humans. The supposed transitional forms are what are known as the missing links. But the truth is, there is no missing link. There's nothing to link apes to human. The supposed transitional forms simply don't exist except in the imagination of evolutionists who want to justify their theory. For instance, the amazing discovery of Lucy. But now, nearly all experts agree that Lucy was just the skeleton of a three-foot-tall chimpanzee. Or Nebraska Man. They created an entire skeleton with arms, legs, feet, hands, even facial features when all they really had was one tooth, which later was found to be the tooth of an extinct pig. Or Piltdown Man. The jawbone turned out to belong to a modern ape. And of course, Neanderthal Man, whose famous skeleton found in France over 50 years ago was that of an old man who suffered from arthritis. Hardly scientific proof. Listen to what the famous Harvard evolutionary biologist Stephen Jay Gould said about the fossil record. The extreme rarity of transitional forms in the fossil records persists as the trade secret of paleontology.